Guys, welcome again to Tormentia. This time, I have a Batman. I mean, welcome to the Batcave. Oh, wait. No, I'm a Keat fan. I don't do that whole garbling water, marble stuff, whatever he's doing. So, anyways, I got a new Batman toy. New Batman toy. I found him at Walmart. I was like, you know what? I'm going to get him. I was like, screw it, whatever. So, Here's the back end of it. I do love that art. Even that Joker there. Look at that. That's kind of cool. Alright, so you got Nightwing, some other bat, Green Lantern. So you got a bunch of other ones. You guys can. Supposedly, the stuff comes with stuff you put together. Well, this one doesn't. He comes with one, two objects. Kind of like my Batgirl did. Uh, I'm excited. I don't even know why I'm talking about it right now. Let's cut into it. So, Batman's always been my favorite hero ever since Michael Keaton appeared. And I'm pretty sure my dad had the VHS on it. If you're watching, you know, correct me in the bottom. But I'm pretty sure the first time I ever seen it was there. Because the first movie I remember watching actually in theaters that I can remember was Jurassic Park. Which came out, what, 93 or something like that. So... All right, so this is a Detective Comics issue number 1,000? Hmm. Let's just see what the card says. All right. Guy, I've seen these before. Kind of cool. So, it's like glued in there. Oh. Yeah, this ain't coming out. Oh, there it goes. Just got the right force to it. All right, Put the box to the side. These stands, I don't really have to use for these. These guys are, they're McFarland figures. And they're up there in the whole um, seven inch range, just like the Mortal Kombat ones. Which, by the way, guys, have you guys seen Spawn yet? Wow, he looks pretty cool, but not my favorite take on it. Cause I like, you know, my costume to be straight up kind of even-ish, not like, modified like supposedly he has a big boot on it i watched a review on it i'm like man that kind of ruins my review on it but i don't care i'm still gonna do it and on the box it also says more will come at 11. Hmm. he's coming out soon isn't he are you guys excited i'm just excited to see more toys from the mcfarland line mcfarland's done a lot of stuff he's done um He's done a lot of, like, Borderlands stuff for me, and I'm excited for that. All right. So right now I'm trying to figure out how to get the card out without ripping it. Put a nail in there. Pull it open like so. Look at that. Reminds me of buying the old classic toys where you have to kind of feel for that soft spot. Right there. Boom. Okay. Here's the Batman card. I am collecting these cards, by the way. So any figure I get, I'm going to show it off in the review. And I'm going to read the back of it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to catch the coronavirus. Whatever, guys, right? All right. So, all right. Source, the Test of Comics, issue uh, number 1,000. Okay, real name, Bruce Wayne. Uh, six, four, six foot two. Let's see, 210 pounds. 95 kilograms. Okay, I'm catching up to him. But, let's see. As a child, Bruce Wayne watched his parents were brutally killed in Gotham City. Crime Alley. Crime Alley. I love that in The Dark Knight Returns. Um, traumatized by their deaths, he devoted his life to becoming the world's greatest weapon against crime, the Batman. Uh, to become the ultimate vi vigilante, the Dark Knight disciplines his mind and body to reach a pinnacle, the pinnacle, of mental and physical superiority. His master detective and expert martial artist, but, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I said that wrong. All right. He's a master detective and an expert martial artist. 
But his greatest weapon is his mind, which I 100% agree on. He beat the entire Justice League at one time. Come on. Good cartoon, by the way. All right. So, Batman has a plan for every occasion, as well as high-tech weapons, gadgets, and vehicles to assist him in his relentless pursuit on justice. If you guys want to take a minute to zoom in and read that, that means you can pause it, because I'm not holding it there for a while. So, well, that's a cool card. It feels thicker than the other ones. This one actually feels a little thicker. So I might have to do a comparison on these. But that's great artwork. I like it. Got the Joker in there be all crazy and stuff like that. That's so cool. Got the Riddler on there. What else you got? Scarecrow. Got Killer Croc at the bottom. We got Alfred right there with Nightwing. Then you got I guess part of his Batcave. Of course the same thing. If you want to see more of it, just pause the video. Alright. So, let's get to the pride and joy. The toy. So, like McFarlane is doing, expanding his his toy stuff everywhere. Like he does Borderlands, he does Spawn. I'm known for him for Spawn because I love his artwork when it comes to Spawn. Then there was a Batman vs. Spawn comic book, which I used to have, but that magically was missing when I moved. Um... The fact that he did the artwork and stuff like that on Batman made his cape all crazy everywhere. I love that. That was so freaking cool. So, that was my favorite issue. And actually, I got to check out you guys at C4 if you're watching this. I might have a quest for you guys. Give me that comic book. So, alright. So, the first thing I'm going to pull out, of course, like Batgirl. The battering kind of has a Ben Affleck look to it, whatever. So, not bad. It's plain looking, shiny. Okay, and I don't get why are the batterings so big? It's supposed to be it's supposed to be like a little tactical weapon. Okay, I got that. Next, same thing as Batgirl. Look at that, his grappling gun. Or are you firing something out? This kind of reminds me of Scorpion's... What do you call it? I guess his blade coming out, but... I like it. Batman does have stuff like this, even though he doesn't use guns. BS, he does. Oh, and he doesn't kill either? Yeah, he does. So, okay. Here's the figure. I already cut this part. Cape's already cool. I like it. It's thick. Looks like it's blowing in the wind a little bit. The Dark Knight. Okay. So. Open open real quick. Just so you guys know, I keep, especially certain things like this, I don't keep boxes and stuff like crap like that because this is my personal collection and it's always going to be. Because I'm a Bat fan. The only thing I can top it off is when I build up all my Green Arrow collection. Which, there is a statue, or I'm sorry, statue. There is a action figure of Green Arrow coming out soon by McFarlane. Coming from the same line. I'm excited to see it. So, I saw it on a review the other day for a guy, I guess, got it from a Comic Con or something like that. So, here you go. Check it out. It looks pretty cool, actually. And it, it's more, not really Stephen Amell type, but it actually looks pretty freaking cool. Alright, so his head, left and right, moves pretty good. I like it. The up, eh, that ball joint doesn't want to go. But the down work, like he's brooding over a city, looking down on it, I could deal with that. Alright. Normal pivots, wrist move. He doesn't come with any extra arms or hands. Alright, so his, his blades... They're not hockey pads. Well, they look weird, actually. Um, they're not really the same shape, but it's probably part of the toy itself. I can deal with that. But I like how his hand moves with the, ho the hockey blades. Um, well, 
to me, they're supposed to like at least line up. Almost like an aerodynamic look. This looks like, it reminds me of like dinosaur stuff. So, it's not, but it could be a bat thing, I guess. Maybe it's new to me. Both of his hands are open. Opening and holding stuff. His cape is my favorite thing so far. Look at that cape. It's just blowing in the wind. All right. The bat. The big fat bat. Yep, looks like Ben Affleck again. The bat flick here. But this is the Detective Comics version or whatever. So I got to actually look up the comic and see if his bat... Well, well according to the picture, it does. But... What's cool about it, though, he can't do the splits all the way. <laughs> so, he's only limited to, well, actually, here, he can do 50, 50, no, 90, but he can't do this. Oh, he can do the splits. Guys, that scares me. Anyways, his chest, he has the pivot thing, kind of limited, but that's a McFarlane thing. That's how you can tell McFarlane toys, because he makes them so restricted but it looks like you can do so much movement with them of course you got the classic belt not bad not bad all right let's see his feet a toes up check signature move and you can actually move his feet around his ankles uh they also go left and right you got a ball joint there that's kind of cool um, a lot of his toys sometimes don't have them, actually. Um, unless I'm wrong, correct me. Of course, his movement. He's not bad. Let's see. He does not do a 360, thank God. Um, he actually just pivots a little bit. Without it, you might be able to snap it off. I've actually seen a guy pull a scorpion apart and kind of like bothered me a little bit. It's like a fatality done wrong. Then they try putting them back together. I'm like, yeah, I'm not watching this guy no more. So, of course, you got the stand. And both feet have the little pegs on them. Well, the holes for the pegs. So, all right. Now, let's look at his weaponry. Battering, which uh, is just going to go in my drawer because it's huge. So, even Ben Affleck's batarangs weren't that big. And actually, I have a replica of one. And it was it's like the perfect weapon, in a way. So, alright. And of course, the grappling gun. Grappling gun. It's wide on the base. Right there. So, you kind of have to, I guess, uh, wedge it in there. Boom. Okay. So, he's walking. Doing his thing. I'm just going to put that battery on the side. I'm going to pretend it doesn't exist. So, but pretend he's shooting up. But, guess what? The problem with this, he can't look up too well. But he can look down. So we'll go with that. Pretend he's, gonna, he's shooting somewhere down south. Swing down. Save the day. Tell him that's not cool. I like his white eyes. It's kind of comic book for the animated side of things. Because if you notice on the white eyes, all the actors with the mask on, the cow on, right? You see the eyeballs. Yeah, so to me that's that's pretty cool. So, but well, this guy's cool. I hope you like his little pose. Usually my my buddy does all the stuff for me, you know, the posing stuff. But thank you guys. Subscribe, like. And until next time, kitties. Until next time.